In my lectures and also on steric liftoff, I make a point about the difference between the S step burr for the MCXL and the non S step burr. There is a difference in size. Size makes a difference in how the internal component of our restorations mill. Now, the disadvantage of the non S burr, which is what I call the traditional step burr, is we don't get as many mills with it. But on the other hand, the benefits of the non S burr to me fully outweigh the fact that we get less mills with it, and that's because we get a smoother internal mill. And if you're wanting to do more anterior work where you want thinner margins, particularly on veneers, I don't cut a shoulder. In other words, I like a light chamfer and a feather. I really prefer to have the non S burr because it mills so much better. In other words, I don't want that serrated saw look on a margin, particularly if it's thin. Now you will find in Seric Liftoff, which is our, our Catstar University Online, is that uh, we go through this very thoroughly so you have a good understanding of that. Uh, but I, I just want to alert you to there is a difference, and you'll see on your screen right now we're, we're looking into our instrument window, and look, there's the Esper. Now look how much smaller the tip of that non-Esper is that's almost a half a millimeter difference. And that, now look at the restoration right now. There's the Esper, there's the non-Esper. Do you see that pothole with the Esper? See that pothole could be that weak link down the line in the function of that restoration if it's not thick enough. Internal mill design is critical. The smoother your internal mill, the potential enhancement in performance. Most failures, and hear me on this, most failures in all ceramic dentistry happen from the inside out. We call those radial fractures. And think about it, if a ceramic is under loading and it's always flexing like this, okay, if it's flexing down like this, if there's an imperfection on, on the internal surface or if it's too thin, that flexure will eventually give in to fractures developing down on the flex side. And so that's why I like the non-S burr and again, the, the, the quality of your prep is critical. The smoother the prep, the smoother the internal surface of your mill. But you can also make a difference by how you choose your burrs. And, um, you know, the S burrs will give you a lot of length. And for basic good inlay, onlay, and full crowns that have shoulder margins, the S burr is going to work just great. But if you're in more of those intricate situations, it's nice to have an alternative. Now I know I think in this depth, and some people may say, well, what's the difference? Well, there is a difference. If you look at the literature on how ceramics function, there's, a, there's, there's quite a, an impact on the quality. And I'm wanting to elevate the quality of our product so we can believe in it. You know, it's, it's, uh, this is a great system. The CEREC system is the most complete restorative system in the world right now. In our practices, we should be, I mean, I'm very honored and privileged to have this. I'm glad it came about in my, my career. On the other hand, I also want to optimize it and abide by good restorative principles. So I look at the literature, I look at what is highlighted in the literature on recommendations. And, and it's not always a CEREC literature thing. It's, it's more of an academic literature for all ceramic dentistry, and then I apply that to my CEREC. So I just happen to use the CEREC to get the job done. And it's, it's a good job, too. As you can see in our site, we really love what we do here at CatStar. And uh, the depths and the illustrations of these are highlighted in CEREC Liftoff, which is going to be a continual CatStar University educational program for those that really want to enjoy their CEREC and take it to the next level. So I uh, hope you become a member of that as well. This site will still be beneficial for those who are not members because we'll have like the video blog and also become a, the Facebook member as well.